Good evening, Xbox fans. Crow back for the win of the Dunkin' Minorities here today with the first GBA Season 9 game for your Los Angeles NATO Kings. Yep, we're going to be uploading alongside Jolt, and we're going to have fun hopefully riding off his upload coattails. So, this is an important important game. It's We want to start off on the right foot for sure. Uh, so our team, we uploaded our draft analysis last week. I hope you all enjoyed we are playing El Scizor today, and I recommend you check his channel out, link below in the description. His team is, since we're doing a makeshift team builder, due to my PCL game yesterday, didn't want to do three uploads in one day. I'm going to do a quick team builder now. My opponent is Karen Black, Jirachi, Azumarill, Tangrowth, Conkledur, Landers, Mandibuzz, Salazzle, Lycan Rock Dusk, Mega Man Ectric, and Deoxys A. So, that's already terrible. Deoxys A is not going to be fun to deal with. So, to combat this, we are going to be bringing Gengar with Therium Z. It's got the Sucker Punch the Dazzling Gleam, Shadow Ball, and Sludge Wave, so four attacks. The Z-Move is for the Mandibuzz or for the Conkle Dirt, and I, it does big damage to both. If it's physically defensive Mandibuzz, it'll, I think, basically go down after even just the smallest chip, and I really like that. Mon number two, we got a Choice Scarf Genesect, not unexpected at all. We've got a Mixed Genesect, U-Turn, Flash Cannon, Ice Beam, and Blaze Kick. So, just trying to get as much coverage as I can for this team. Obviously, the crux of the set is definitely U-Turn. We are going to be spamming that a lot this game, as we are going to see in just a second. We got next, Halucha, Dual Scarf. Choice Scarf, Halucha. This set is awesome for this week. We've got U-Turn, uh, High Jump Kick, Flying Press, and Poison Jab. So, Flying Press is for Conkledur specifically, if we need it. Uh, but high jump kick spam is just really good this week, and we can, like I said, you turn around. We got Limber just in case of Jirachi as well. So, we got Heliolisk with U-Turn. It's actually not minus attack nature, just in case maybe we can get a U-Turn off on, say, a Deoxys or something. Just a, just a hair more damage. Thunderbolt, Hyper Voice and Surf, nice choice spec set. Hopefully can do some big damage. Also got Dry Skin to deal with Azumarill, which is super cool. Got, uh, like I said, just good amount of uh, bulk in there as well. Got, it's got some good stuff. Palkia, Expert Belt, Earth Power, Thunderbolt, Ice Beam, and Spatial Rend. So, the special attack investment it has is just so it can nail the KOs that it needs in this game. Hopefully the bulk will definitely help with dealing with things like Mega Man Ectric here in this game. Mod number 6, and the final mod, we've got Heatran with a Shookaberry, Magma Storm. We've got Stealth Rock, Flash Cannon, and Flame Charge. Late Flame Charge in the game could be really vital. It worked really well in Mox. I mean, I'd like to also Magma Storm trap things. It'd be really cool. I, I'd really like that. So, it's going to be very, could be a very big threat in this game for sure. So, that's what we're rocking for the team this week. We got to see what El Scizor brings, but I would definitely expect, you know, like Kieran Black, Azu, Conkledur, maybe Mandibuzz, Mega Man Electric, Deoxys A. Um, I think Tangrowth is okay too if you take out Heatran. I mean, it does get Earthquake, remember that. Uh, it also is good in my grassy terrain. I did not bring Bulu, so we'll see what happens. I mean, I, I, I won most of the mocks. I felt pretty good going into this game. Let's see what happens. So my opponent is bringing Mega Man Ectric, Mandibuzz, Landorus, Jirachi, Azu, and Deoxys A, which kind of makes me a little curious. He didn't bring Kieran Black, didn't bring Tangrowth, didn't bring Conkledur, which actually Conkledur is a very good matchup in this game. You know, we're going to lead Genesect. All right. We're just gonna, we're gonna go with it. I think we still can do this. I do. I do believe we can do this. We got a Choice Scarf Genesect here. We know that we outspeed this Mega Man Ectric, or what would be a Mega Man Ectric, because we're Scarf. He decides to stay in, presumably, because he knows if I'm Scarf, I'm gonna U-turn, and he gets the Intimidate. But that also is really good for Heliolisk later in the game, because now, yeah, I don't have to worry about Volt Absorb, so that's, that's good, at least. That's good. I'm gonna do a decent amount of chip damage. I, I do wish we got the defense raised, but unfortunately, we did not. I'm gonna go into Heatran, just to take an attack. It's kind of bulky. This is not good, though. It's gonna get to pivot on into the... Landorus and Landorus Sheer Force is a big threat actually against this team in particular. I didn't exactly have a lot of great switch ins for it. it, just there weren't very many on this team. My hope was to keep offensive pressure and choice scarf users and stuff like that, so I have Halucha to take the Earth Power. I'm gonna U turn out of there, and I kind of was hoping maybe he'd think HP Ice was coming or something like that. Did not happen. I'm gonna go back in Heatran, and I realize Heatran is really not that valuable in this game. It's gonna take a Psychic. Sure, that's great, and I was really hoping he'd overpredict. Really was hoping to see an overprediction here and go for the Psychic. 
Unfortunately, he tends to be a safe player, so Heatran does go down. It, it's just that's what I had to do. Heliolisk is here now. It can surf. It can HP ice. If it, it's got options, like it, in his mind, HP ice is probable, if not possible. So we are going to U-turn because we expected the switch here. So this is just U-turning around half the game. We're, we're we're doing that a lot right now. So we're going to go into Genesect again, threaten with Blaze Kick. That's why we have Blaze Kick. Of course, our special attack rises, so that is terrible. I also don't know if this thing is Fire Punch. I kind of wish maybe we get it went to Gengar think, knowing this now, but alas, we're going to get some chip. Some nice chip on the Jirachi. Now we're going to go into this thing. There's no way he goes for Psychic. The worst thing, I think, is Stealth Rock. So we're, we're in good shape, I guess, against it. We're, we're in pretty good shape. Uh, we definitely don't want to stay in, though, expecting a possible Psychic. So I think another U-turn. Here we go. Spin it again. Spin it out of the game. Running amok. Getting out of there. So, Voltage is back. We're probably going to have to take a Psychic, but it's a little bit bulky, so hopefully it can. And it does moderately well, I guess. You, we get a special defense drop, but that doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Now, this thing probably does not want to stay in because it with specs. Probably will KO the Thunderbolt. So we see Duracell coming in right now. It's here. It is here. And you know what? We got this thing checking me. This is the biggest threat against our team. This is the biggest threat. Gonna go into Halucha. He doesn't know it's Scarf yet. He doesn't know this at all. And I'm gonna high jump kick and KO this Manectric. And guess what? That's the biggest threat down, which means Palkia can go sweep! Alright, so we're 0 for 1 on high jump kicks this season, and do you want to know how much that mattered? Jeez. That, that, that's a huge swing in this game. This thing outspeeds a ton of my team. Palkia is super bulky, okay? And now I lose one of my best Scarfers that outspeeds everything. And that means Palkia later in the game is going to have to take unnecessary damage. Palkia was the only thing that could deal with Landorus, because it's so bulky you can just take a couple attacks if it has to. And now it can't. It literally can't now. Because that Mega Man Ectric is here and is going to be able to get extra chip damage on it. Yeah, I get to U-turn out and go into Gengar against a Shirachi, which is pretty cool. But that's really going to set us back a lot. This is a totally different ball game. If I didn't go 0 for 1 on high jump kicks, missing the first of the season, how bad of an omen could that be? So, Mandibuzz is here. Looks pretty specially defensive, but I don't really have any other recourse. Kind of just going to hope I can live a knockoff. I should be able to because I'm holding a Z Crystal, and that's the only reason why. I'm gonna go for the Twinkle Tackle Ferium Z, which is pretty cool, admittedly. I'm, I'm pretty happy that I got to use this Z move and unleash some big damage on Mandibuzz. Finally got to take my aggression out on something here. Knockoff is gonna do a ton, but it's not gonna KO as predicted. Actually, we can live after the rocks, so that's cool. That's really cool, and now we are gonna get our first KO of the season! Woo! Even though we just totally had our hopes of winning this game severely diminished. So, I need this Gengar for Jirachi. I really do. I, I have to keep it around if I can. And so I'm gonna try to switch out. Palkia has a high chance, high chance to not be two hit KO'd by two Thunderbolts. High chance. Alright. So Thunderbolt is coming through. It's gonna do about 80 dam 81 damage. So that's the, about a max roll. He just has to get a slightly lower roll and I can live and KO this. No. No. Just no. Palky's gone. Because pfft, that's why. I have no reason. But this is not looking too good. It's not looking too good. We're still going. We're still here. Genesect is in the game. Gonna you turn out. Now remember, this Mega Man Electric is gone in an alternate universe when I hit a 90% accurate high jump kick. Okay, remember that. I kinda have to go for the ice beam. I'm kinda hoping for freezes at this point. Azu kinda wins this game. If uh, maybe he'll go for a water type move and make my day, but yeah, the knockoff was a substantially better play, and my opponent's a good player, so of course he goes for that. Gonna go into Genesect now, and this is where things really, really are off the rails. So let's U turn! Let's do it!
yeah, at this point I've kind of resigned myself to the fact that a loss is imminent, and I'm kind of hoping maybe I can make up a differential point or something. It's unfortunate. I really believe this would have been a totally different ball game if we had hit that high jump kick. It really would have. Halucha in this game would have been a big deal. Really would have been a big deal. And Palkia at full health would have been a big deal. Or near full health. I mean, Stealth Rocks were up, but would have been a big, big deal. So, Genesect's back. Attack raise. I I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. Last turn Ice Beam because hoping for the freeze and that's about all I can do. And yeah, there was no way I could have KO'd that thing. I didn't have Thunderbolt. Is what it is. We go down. It's game over. No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no. 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 I refuse. No. So that's how to lose in just about the worst possible way. Nice. 5 0 clap week one. Getting utterly destroyed. So. You know what, I, I give credit to my opponent, you know, his prep was great, he brought some things I didn't expect, that hacks really screwed me over. Not to say it was a guaranteed win, by no means was it a guaranteed win, but, I mean, I kind of theory monded out in my head, I would say at minimum it was still a 50-50 game if that high jump kick, kick, uh, hit. And, I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles, I mean, there are only 10 games this season, so losing the first one is not great, especially in such a big way. But alas, you know what, we do have our waffle maker coming this week, and I am still hyped for it. I'm going to try to keep that hype up. We're going into week two. We're playing a Num Nexus, and we're going to go out guns blazing for that game. We need this win. All right, guys. Good to see you all. Hope to see you all next time. Take care. Peace.